We are here at the Everglades. Wogan's Alligator Alley. Let's see here. We have a Alley gator blast. behind us. We're heading over. We're getting on a swamp buggy, like a ride with wheels. And then after that, we are doing a swamp boat in the boat and then alligator <laughs> wrestling show and then holding gators and tons of stuff. I'll keep you guys updated. Ava, I love you. We are on our swamp buggy. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Joey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, There's a baby deer over there. It's adorable. Not like our deer at home. No, that's not a baby. That's a full-grown female. Is it? It's little. She's cute. She's little because we are a subtropical climate here in the area. Oh, she's adorable. subtropical climate in North America. So mammals are naturally smaller. Bugs and reptiles get a whole lot bigger. They reach 20 feet in length and weigh 200 pounds. In the front. And they are big enough to eat deer. Wow. I said, well, yeah, one of the first pythons ever destroyed in the Everglades was 16 feet in length. Woo! Had swallowed a 70-pound deer and was 44 inches in diameter. Oh and that's when the gosh. government started allowing us to hunt them because they're big enough to eat people. Wow. Maybe one day our lovely government will learn it doesn't need to import everything under the sun. Exotic animals for private sale as pets are one of those things. How do you think Burmese pythons got in Everglades to begin with? People releasing them. And they started uh, they started um, importing those snakes uh, two more over in here. the spring. They've already had their babies. Our rut, our, the males go into rut at the end of August down here. They're right there. The males are in velvet right now. But all mammals will mate in the fall, have their babies in the spring down here. The reptiles mate in the spring and have their lay their eggs and things like that in late summer. So they have right next to you. Turn around. Hurry up. Turn around I know, that way. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hmm. 